This is a little bit scary. Scientists say there's now evidence two of the best known earthquake fault lines on the West Coast are in sync, and that has the potential for a major disaster. Oregon. Oregon and Oregon's going to happen when it happens. You know, they can predict the weather. They can't predict an earthquake. Hidden beneath Oregon's quiet forests, a giant has shifted. No warning tremors, no violent explosion, just a sudden click in the earth and a silent rise that satellites barely caught in time. At Newberry Volcano, the ground moved without a sound, and now scientists are racing to understand what just woke up below. Chapter 1. Swarm of Silence. Unraveling the Fissure's Mystery. Every story of geological unrest begins with the careful vigilance of those whose work is to watch. Around Newberry, a network of cameras and seismometers keeps constant vigil, feeding back vital signs to distant labs and monitoring stations. For months leading up to the fissure's appearance, the area was unremarkably quiet. No significant earthquakes had been detected, no tremors, no unusual gas emissions, no ground-rattling events. The volcano's baseline behavior suggested only dormancy. Then, with minimal fanfare, just the subtle observation of satellite and field teams, a fissure emerged. It was not accompanied by any seismic swarm or classic premonitory signals. Instead, researchers in the field found a shallow, jagged crack across the surface of the flanks, raw and fresh, with no detectable warmth or escaping steam. The absence of earthquake activity, usually the calling card of rising magma forcing its way through rock, made this event unusual and somewhat unsettling. Traditionally, volcanoes are expected to communicate through swarms of quakes, fractures, rumbles, or swells, well before new features like this fissure form. But on this occasion, the seismographs slept through it. No quakes, no records. The mountain gave no warning through the systems designed to catch even the faintest signal. Instead, the revelation arrived through INSAR satellite data, maps that detect the slightest rise or shift in the rocks below, accurate down to centimeters. While invisible to the eye and undetectable underfoot, the ground had shifted, two inches upward over a broad area, just enough to move from the realm of background noise to a potential sign of real change. The surrounding forests, lakes, and wildlife went on much as before, unaware. The only sign of something amiss was the fissure itself. No steam, no gases, no ash. Scientists pressed their hands and instruments along its edges, searching for any sign of heat or volcanic gases that might reveal more about its origin. But the answer was elusive. There were no obvious volcanic emissions or new geothermal features exposed. Researchers remember that in distant Alaska, at the Veniaminoff volcano, scientists have learned that warm rock, small magma chambers, and slow flows can mask eruption signs. That not all volcanic unrest is noisy, and some volcanic systems may shift quietly, sometimes for years, before producing any visible hazard. Might Newberry be harboring similar secrets under layers of apparent tranquility? And regarding the fissure itself, can such a feature form in the absence of warning tremors? The answer remains unclear. While some ground ruptures can be caused by fault movement, settling, or even the expansion and contraction of soils, the appearance of this fissure, aligned with subtle uplift, compels volcanologists to reevaluate their assumptions about what signals real volcanic change. For now, the event stands as a testament to the complexity of volcanic processes. While many may dismiss the significance of two inches, for those who study unrest, it is the start of a narrative, one that could unfold over years or become the focus of urgent attention should conditions shift. Chapter 2. Magma on the Move, Decoding the Surface Uplift To the untrained observer, a two-inch rise may seem trivial. Mountains rise and fall over eons, Streams erode rocks, glaciers carve valleys. A couple of inches appears inconsequential, especially compared to the dramatic scale of volcanic eruptions. And yet for scientists, minor ground uplift on a volcano classified as very high threat can be an important signal. Satellite data suggested a gradual bulge in Newberry's caldera, an area where the surface appeared to be deforming upward, resembling the slow inflation of an immense buried balloon. In geologic terms, such inflation typically indicates pressurization beneath the surface, most commonly due to magma or thermal fluids intruding into lower zones of the crust. As magma enters, it forces up the overlaying rocks. The process is rarely dramatic, yet when cumulative,
can occasionally tear open new fissures, reactivate older faults, or even presage eruptive episodes. The relevance of two inches is not in the absolute value, but in the context, a sudden, persistent change detected by highly sensitive space-based instruments in a place where such changes are not regularly observed. It tells a story of forces deep below, magma moving, even if not yet erupting, interacting with ancient fractures and reshuffling the architecture of the crust. Geologists are quick to add a note of caution. Not all uplift leads to eruptions, and not every fissure or bulge signals impending disaster. At many volcanoes worldwide, inflation and deformation are part of long-term ebb and flow inside the Earth, with pressurized chambers sometimes remaining stable for decades. But uplift paired with freshly broken ground and no seismic warning demands precise, ongoing scrutiny. It is precisely the sort of change that triggers increased monitoring and deeper analysis. People living in the region don't panic over tiny movements. But volcanologists remind us that many of the world's notable eruptions, including those at St. Helens and Pinatubo, were preceded by patterns of uplift and surface deformation, sometimes misinterpreted or overlooked. The challenge is deciphering which ground movements are simply harmless breathing and which are the first whispers of deeper unrest. For now, Newberry is not erupting, and officials do not suggest imminent hazard. But the subtle rise, caught only by satellite and confirmed by on-the-ground instruments, commands respect and humility. It reveals a dynamic living system beneath the surface, working in rhythms that defy easy prediction. Chapter 3 The Red Alert Watching the Threats Lurk Below when Newberry's fissure captured the attention of researchers and news outlets, a wave of concern spread among those familiar with the volcano's reputation. At the same time, attention was briefly drawn to Mount Rainier in Washington, where a notable swarm of small earthquakes was recorded. Yet, officials quickly assured the public that there was no current threat of an eruption at Rainier, and emphasized the importance of not conflating background unrest with imminent danger calm assurance. By contrast, the change at Newberry was remarkable precisely because it lacked these usual warning signs. The U.S. Geological Survey and other agencies kept a close eye, classifying Newberry as very high threat, not for its current activity, but because of its potential in history. The concern here was not about an ongoing eruption or even a spike in daily threat, but about what the unusual combination of uplift and a new fissure might mean in a broader sense. It's a reminder of the inherent uncertainty in volcano monitoring. Public response was mixed. Some asked whether a couple of inches could truly merit attention, while scientists responded with careful explanations about the meaning of ground deformation and the lessons of past events, where minuscule changes sometimes signaled major shifts beneath the surface. Official warnings remained measured. There was no eruption, no evacuation, no closure of parks or trails, but geologists redoubled their monitoring efforts deploying new sensors and increasing the frequency of data analysis. Community meetings in nearby towns like Bend and Sun River turned to talk of preparedness, not panic. After all, history shows that Newberry's past eruptions were infrequent and often preceded by signs only revealed in hindsight. In the wider context, some alarmist claims circulated, mentioning red alerts or speculative links between distant volcanoes, but these were not supported by current USGS official statements. There was no widespread evidence of magma tunnels or imminent multi-volcano crises. Instead, scientists emphasized continuous monitoring and clear communication with the public, determined not to let uncertainty turn to misinformation. Chapter 4 Volcanoes of Contradiction Newberry's Unsettling Legacy Newberry has always been a place of duality. Its gentle slopes and lakes belied the violence that formed them. Throughout its caldera, Reminders of past eruptions are everywhere. The Big Obsidian Flow, a stark, glassy remnant of one of North America's youngest lava flows. Paulina Lake and East Lake, twin craters holding mineral-laden waters warmed by hidden geothermal sources. And the jagged fields of cinders and lava flows, barely concealed by moss and brush. Despite its scientific status, Newberry is less infamous than its siblings to the north, Mount St. Helens, Rainier, or Mount Hood whose dramatic profiles and recent histories have captured public attention. Yet among geoscientists, Newberry's legacy is both formidable and sobering. The volcano's size, complexity, and history of infrequent but devastating eruptions mean its behavior remains an object of close study. Over 80 vents are mapped around the caldera, 
evidence of repeated unrest, sometimes separated by centuries of quiet. Recent investigations into other volcanoes, such as Venia Minoff in Alaska, have reinforced the lesson that not all warning signs are easy to detect. There, researchers found that warm rock, small magma chambers, and slow flows can mask eruption signs, meaning that volcanic systems can sometimes evolve without producing easily recognizable symptoms, such as strong earthquakes or visible gas emissions. Accordingly, the quiet formation of a fissure at Newberry provokes essential questions, not only about the volcano's own future, but about the reliability of long-held scientific patterns. Does the absence of warning tremors truly mean the system is quiet? Or are there deeper, slower processes always at work, sometimes expressed only in the subtlest shifts or newly broken ground? Invisible unrest. The new fissure, tracing an uneven line across the landscape, is more than a crack. It is a reminder that silence, as much as noise, plays a role in the unfolding drama of Earth science, demanding cautious respect and relentless curiosity from the world's volcano watchers. Chapter 5 The Satellite's Eye Unveiling Invisible Changes Modern volcanology depends as much on technology as on keen observation. Where the first geologists once had only their eyes, compasses, and the evidence of smoke or heat, today's researchers blend satellite data, computer modeling, and sensitive field measurements to track a restless Earth. It was INSAR satellite imagery, mapping changes in ground elevation with extraordinary precision, that first revealed the subtle uplift at Newberry. A rise of two inches, sustained over a wide area, is not easily dismissed as a statistical blip. This measured warping of the surface was enough to mobilize field teams, their instruments poised for signs of unrest invisible to the human eye. Satellite images supplement an array of field tools. Seismometers scan constantly for tremors, no matter how faint. Portable gas analyzers sniff for surges in carbon dioxide or sulfur emissions. Gravimeters, sensitive to minute shifts in the Earth's density, are recalibrated regularly. Drones comb the fissure's opening and surrounding slopes for temperature anomalies or escaping gases. So far, the instruments report only normal values. No outpouring of volcanic gas, no telltale heating of the surface, no immediate hint that magma has breached its subterranean prison. Hidden processes. Such advanced monitoring has fundamentally changed the scientific response to volcanic unrest. Instead of waiting for dramatic warning signs, researchers now interpret subtle, cumulative changes, patterns of uplift, chemical variations, deformation signatures, that, taken together, refine assessments of risk and occasionally reveal signals previously overlooked. Yet as thorough as observation may be, the reasons for such silent changes remain complex. Satellite images are slices in time, powerful yet incomplete. The true dynamics of magma movement, deep within Newberry's crust, remain partially obscured. Whether the uplift and fissure signal a prelude to something larger, or merely an episode of harmless readjustment, remains unknown. Let's for now the mountain waits, its secrets measured in millimeters, its intentions hidden beneath layers of rock, and the eyes of satellites above, patient, precise, and alert. Chapter 6 A Chorus of Mountains the danger of hidden networks. As research at Newberry continues, scientists increasingly consider the broader geological symphony of the Pacific Northwest, a region where great volcanic systems rise in striking proximity. Questions naturally emerge. Could pressure building in one underground magma reservoir subtly influence another, even miles away? Sensational rumors of magma tunnels linking Newberry to Rainier, St. Helens, or Hood have circulated online. Yet scientific evidence offers a more measured view. Geophysical surveys show that while some regional magmatic plumbing networks exist, direct, open conduits between distant volcanoes are unsupported. Instead, localized melt zones and pockets of hot rock may connect nearby vents, but these are complex, shifting slowly over millennia rather than transmitting instantaneous upheaval. Seismic imaging and tomography reveal that changes in pressure or fluid movement in one area can, in theory, modify conditions elsewhere. But these effects are gradual and indirect. They do not trigger sudden, catastrophic chain reactions. Each volcano, with its unique structure and history, responds primarily to local forces, even within the shared tectonic landscape of the Cascades. The fascination with interconnected unrest is understandable. It conjures images of a chain of mountains ready to roar together. But the immediate lesson from Newberry is clear. 
careful observation, patience, and humility are paramount. The fissure's emergence speaks less to secret magma highways and more to the evolving art of interpreting subtle, silent shifts in the restless crust. The mountain has whispered. It is up to us to listen wisely. Chapter 7 Lessons of the Past Warnings for the Future Newberry's caldera is a living archive. Layer upon layer of ash, pumice, and lava records past eruptions, each with its own story and warning. Some eruptions sent ash as far as Idaho, others buried ancient forests in flows of glittering obsidian, or built cone after cone on the rim of the caldera. Human history here is interwoven with geological memory, stories from tribal nations describing times when the mountain smoked, modern accounts of research expeditions camping under parched stars beside young lava fields. These records remind us that not every volcanic chapter begins with fanfare. Some eruptions happened with little warning, Others stuttered and fizzled after showing signs of unrest. The lesson for today's observers is to consider every new event within the broader context, not to downplay subtle changes, nor to extrapolate every shift into dire prediction. Misunderstandings can amplify risk just as much as misunderstanding of risk can breed complacency. Officials, for now, repeat a clear message. There is no current eruption threat. They add, however, that the appearance of unexpected features like the new fissure and the inability to pin down its exact cause requires ongoing careful attention. Communities across Central Oregon are encouraged to be aware but not alarmed, to stay informed, but not to assume that every crack is a portent of disaster. The challenge will always be one of communication, ensuring clarity, context, and a readiness to respond should the ground's silence break. While many changes come and go without triggering an eruption, each is a data point in refining our understanding of Newberry and volcanoes everywhere. Chapter 8 The Weight of Silence Living with Restless Ground As night stretches across Newberry's forests and the caldera falls quiet once more, the new fissure lies unremarked by the animals and trees surrounding it. No glow from molten rock, no hissing steam. The ground's quiet is both comfort and mystery a signal that nature for now is content to hold its secrets just beneath the surface. For scientists, the silence is haunting and humbling, a reminder that even with advanced technology and decades of research, the Earth is never fully predictable. The fissure becomes both a scar and a question, demanding watchfulness, inspiring wonder, and fueling debates over risk, readiness, and the humbling scope of nature's power. Just to the north, Mount Rainier's episode of small quakes recently prompted a customary cycle of concern, analysis, and assurance. No current threat. But Newberry reminds us that not all warnings come with rumble or flash. Sometimes, the only message is a silent, almost imperceptible change. A lesson to look not just for the dramatic, but also for the subtle. People living in the region know the land is restless. They hike, fish, and live in the shadow of potential change building a resilience rooted in historical cycles of disaster and recovery. They listen to science, but also accept that there is always an element of uncertainty. Sometimes two inches means nothing. Sometimes, it's the beginning of a new story. As scientists continue their vigil, analyzing fresh satellite passes, cross-checking gas samples, probing the new crack for signs of change, the people of Oregon go about their lives, aware but unafraid, watching mountains shaped by quiet, as much as by catastrophe. Those who call this region home often describe a deep connection to the landscape, a familiarity with the language of wilderness, shaped by fire, ice, and time. For now, Newberry guards its secrets. The fissure and the slight rise may signal nothing more than an internal adjustment, or with time, they may mark the opening lines of a much larger chapter. As darkness settles, the question lingers, unanswered but alive, like the volcano itself. If Newberry can change in utter silence, what else remains unseen beneath Oregon's vast and mysterious lands? What do you think of this silent awakening? Could such seemingly small, quiet changes be the signals that matter most? We invite you to share your thoughts below. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the hidden stories of America's most intriguing volcanoes. Until next time, stay observant, because sometimes, the Earth's greatest surprises arrive not with thunder, but in almost perfect silence.